Welcome to another Avengers Endgame nitpick fun session for the masses. Yes, that's right. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I loved the movie. I thought it was incredible. And my best advice to you, without giving you any spoilers, is to go to the movie and try not to overthink it. It's the best way to enjoy that movie because it is incredible. It is a feat of 11 years of the MCU coming together in one of the most incredible feats of cinematic history. It's a feat! I just like saying feet, I don't, I don't know why. Not, not feet like the ones you're thinking, like feet as in like an incredible thing that has happened. Anyway, now today we're going to nitpick yet another thing. And I'm basing this entire laugh of the di Discord discussions that I've been having with our community. So if I get asked the same question a whole bunch of times on our Discord of our community that you can find down below, I then make a video about it because why not? I assume other people want to know these answers. So. Spoilers! 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 Come here! Come here, Dan! Dan the whiteboard! Okay, so if you're not tracking, spoilers! Uh, little less. There we go. That works. Okay, spoilers! Is, are coming from this point onward. Alright, close enough. Alright, so... Today we're gonna to talk about one of the most asked questions, and what literally caused me and Dan to almost go... Blow to blow. We almost fought at the pizza joint after we were done with the movie. Dan just could not bear with this. Now, hide your mug. There we go. Okay, so. <laughs> the big thing everyone wants to know is Thanos. Thanos, uh, if for those of you, once again, spoilers, uh, the movie opens up with Thanos dying, and then the decision is to go back in time and use time travel to recover all of the Infinity Stones from different points within the timeline to then have the Infinity Gauntlet and revive everyone from the dead, but oh no, Thanos found out about it while they were time traveling and has somehow found his way to 2019, or uh, that was when the snap happened, so 2024-ish, uh, to battle against the Avengers, right? And of course, this now presents a couple of questions. Number one, what about Thanos? How does that fracture the timeline? How does he do that? Two, where did they get the Pym particles? Okay, so, um, first off, we're gonna explain the time travel situation. So, uh, this is the timeline of the MCU. Okay, here is 2019, and in the movie's context, they have gone back to multiple times to get it. But for the sake of this, this is 2014, okay? 2014, so they go back to 2014, they acquire the appropriate Infinity Stones, they then come back to, to the current day of the movie, which I believe is 2024. So for the sake of the video, whether or not I'm right or wrong, uh, it's, it's close enough, uh, 2024, okay? My handwriting is amazing, isn't it? Especially when the board's floating there like this. Anyway, uh, then, as we know by watching the movie, uh, Thanos comes from 2014 and he travels. Brrr, this is the Thanos beam. Brrr, it's not like the dark side beams. Brrr, it's the Thanos beam. Brrr, all the way to 2024. Okay. He then fights against the Avengers, in which they eradicate him in one of the most epic finales ever, in which Tony Stark uses the Infinity Gauntlet to snap them out of existence. Okay. So, that means that when Captain America goes back in time to 2014, to the original Avengers, to 1970, to 1940, to the Old West, because hey, we got a what if show coming out and why not make that something, because that'd be amazing. Please Marvel, make a what if show where he goes back to the Old West. But anyway, um, when he goes back to all of these, he cannot fix the timeline with Thanos. Now, I had an entirely different statement to make right here and right now as to how the time travel works and why this is a splintered reality. This is the no Thanos reality, okay? Because in this timeline, he doesn't exist anymore. He, instead of acquiring all of the Infinity Stones, Thanos left this timeline, and that timeline continued onward. Now, as the Russo brothers explained multiple times, and, and I believe it was Professor Hulk that explained it, and Tony Stark, and the Ancient One, you cannot change your timeline. You are here no matter what. So if you go back to here, and you change this timeline, okay? So they change this timeline right here, and they make the no Thanos timeline, they cannot go into the Thanos timeline. The reason being is simple. You would not have reached this point and decided to go back in time if these events did not happen. So your timeline is a fixed state. It will not change no matter what you do to the past. Once you change the past, you create a different timeline. Now, this has presented a few arguments within the community. The Ancient One used an Infinity Stone as an example. She said, when you remove an Infinity Stone, that creates a timeline in which we do not have that Infinity Stone. Some people have taken this to mean that you can only change time with the Infinity Stones. This is false. Okay, 
In recent interviews, the Russo brothers are trying to clarify the situation involving time travel in the Avengers. And they stated, everything that the Avengers did created a new timeline. Everything. So that means when Thanos left this, it created the no Thanos timeline. It also means that in the 1970s over here, right there, uh, when somebody saw Tony Stark's goatee, uh, this is the everyone copies Tony Stark's goatee timeline. So we're calling this the goatee timeline, okay? Um, when uh, Ant-Man went back to the 1990s of the original Avengers and decided he got a little hungry and got a donut, this is the Ant-Man ate a donut timeline. So we're gonna call this the donut timeline. Um, when Captain America went back to the 40s and accidentally rustled a, a bug and killed it, this is the Cap killed the bug timeline. Cap killed... With this, it's, I didn't think of this joke well enough because I've run out of room on my board, but you get what I'm stating. Everything that the Avengers did created a timeline. Now, since that is the case, the missing Thanos is a brand new timeline. Doesn't affect our current timeline. So in our appropriate timeline right here, in the appropriate timeline, this one right here, we still had all the Infinity Stones recovered, everyone still died, had their own thing, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff actually, in fact, happened leading up to Thanos snapping the universe out of existence and uh, the events of the movie taking place, which created one of the most glaring uh, plot holes in the movie of what happened to Thanos in 2014. He went missing because in that timeline, he left. He just up and vanished. So the Infinity Stones, the Snap, none of that happens in that timeline. Everything up to 2014 happens. Everything beyond it changes. Now, just a real quick caveat. In those same interviews in which they clarified how the time travel works, they, they confirmed my theory from yesterday, if you, or two days ago, whatever the other video came out, the Captain America one, they confirmed it. They said that yes, Captain America did in fact go back in time before he was frozen, made a brand new super Captain America timeline, and in that timeline there are two Captain Americas. And they said he used movie mumbo jumbo basically to come back to the main timeline. So that is exactly what I said. I was right. I'm hoping this is, I'm hoping I'm right again. But either way, this is, this is really fun to do this and I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. But let's move on to the Pym Particle conversation. Okay, so a part of the entire thing was that uh, every character had the equivalent of two Pym Particles, right? They had, because in order to, okay, in order to time travel, you shrink down to the quantum realm, travel through time, sh and grow. To come back, you shrink down to the quantum realm, you go through, you come back. So, so big goes to small, goes to big, goes to small, goes to big. That's how you travel, okay? Are we all following along with my horrible looking circles? Cool. I also, I, I draw, it's gone. It's, it's, it's lost to time. It's lost. Beneath me is actually a black void um, where everything just gets lost forever. Um, it's where all your socks are at, actually. Uh, just a heads up. So. The question everyone has been having is, how did Thanos come back to 2019 if Nebula used the last of the Pym particles that the good Nebula had? So we'll just have Badula, bad, Badula, ba, Nebula, ba, Bad, Nebula, we'll just Bad Nebula. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> anyway, so how did, if Bad Nebula took the Pym particles, how did the good Nebula and the ship and the armies and everything come from 2014 to 2024? And, and the big question behind that is how did they do that? They, they, they had no more Pym particles. Well, let's remember for a moment that <laughs> you have to kind of suspend your connection of a lot of the plot points in this movie. Now, here's the answer I like to give you. So. Uh, Nebula, good Nebula, was working with her team, which includes Ant-Man, which explained to the Pym Particles and explained how it all works. I'd like to assume that there was some meeting in which he fully explained the Pym Particles to the team, because if you remember correctly, no one really knows how Ant-Man's powers function. So in order to explain how Pym Particles work and how they're all going to use, let's assume that he had a nice whiteboard in his own version of Dan, and they explained how Pym Particles work in the, his own Scott Lang way. Using that knowledge, Thanos then tapped into good Nebula's mind and tapped all of her brain information, memories. That's, that's what normal people call them. I call them brain fluid, just things in your head. But anyway, you know, images that you see when you're having nightmares. But, so anyway, your memories. She ta he tapped into her memories. They sucked them all out, okay? 
and he saw this big conference that Scott Lang gave. So like we have Scott Lang here and he's all like, it makes you big, it makes you small. And you know, and then like Hulk's over here and he's like, Hulk big as that there is. And Nebula's over here and she's like, mm, intriguing. So anyway, that, that's recreation of the event that didn't happen in the movie. Maybe this is the storyboard version, but so anyway, uh, knowing this knowledge that it came from Hank Pym and the fact that he is Thanos, what I think happened is in the 2014 timeline, Thanos went to Earth seeking out the original Hank Pym and the Pym Particles. Uh, because if you remember the timeline, 2015, yeah, that's Ant-Man. Which means this version of Thanos found out about everything before Ant-Man even happened. So everyone likes to be like, well, this is a good timeline where there's no Thanos. What if that's a timeline where Thanos didn't wait for the Infinity Gauntlet, went to Earth early, decimated Earth, took the Pym Particles, and then he came back. Now. Why would he need more pin particles and how did he get there? There's two things. I distinctly remember in the movie, Nebula opening up her hand and there was a tiny ship in her hands. So, if she, so, backpedal a little bit, okay. War Machine warps out, right? He goes back to the normal timeline. We don't know how long between War Machine leaving and bad Nebula warping out happened. We don't know if that was 10 years. We don't know if that was six months. So they had plenty of time for her to go and attack Earth get the pimp particles, shrink down the ship, which shrunk down everything inside of it and bring it with her in her pocket, okay? I remember distinctly a scene in which she looked at the ship, but Dan states that I'm wrong and he doesn't remember the scene. I think he just kind of blinked that moment because it was really quick, but hey, whatever. So if she did have the ship in her hands and I'm not remembering this improperly, then it's super simple. They went over, they got these pimp particles um, from Hank Pym by decimating Earth far, far early. And then she went back in time and then, you know, used them, grew the ship, big battle happens. Um, alternatively, we could also go with the theory that Thanos now having an idea of how time travel and pin particles work uh, is completely capable of reverse engineering it, even if it takes a couple of years, and then warps to the current timeline. It's time travel, guys. It doesn't matter how long it takes him to reverse engineer, because he can jump back to the time that he's looking for where they had all of the Infinity Stones in one primary location. Okay, so that kind of solves the pin particle situation. Also, uh, some people I have asked, well, how did uh, Cap get the pin particles for the very end of the movie? If you remember correctly, he took four, only needed two for him and Tony, conveniently having two for the end of the movie. So that's pretty much where we're at. Thanos created a new timeline, the no Thanos timeline. It either was a paradise or he killed Earth far, far early, um, got pin particles or reverse engineered them, came back to the current timeline with Nebula, arrived here, died, he's dead here, we're good. Um, and then we go back in time where we have now got confirmation that there is a timeline with two Steve Rogers uh, being badasses. So super Steve right here, right there. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know uh, basically what's going on. Uh, I'm stumbling on my words right now because I'm trying to write a message to Dan, but he won't see it until afterwards. It's really fun. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. My next little rant video that I want to do is what the hell did the MCU do to Hulk? I was going to make it today, but then they came out with that whole statement about the Thanos situation. And I was kind of like, ooh, that's kind of perfect because they fully explained time travel. So yeah, we're going to talk about why the Hulk went from being like the strongest that there is to selfie. And I'll see you guys next time right here at Comic Storian. If you want to talk with me more directly about this theory, leave a comment down below. I have been scanning through these Avengers 4 theories and rant videos. Um, and you can also follow me on Twitter at Comic Storian. It's great. Uh, you, can also, uh, you can also let me know any other particular things you may think I have a problem with in the movie. Like I said, Hulk is next and I'm already going to be having a wonderful rant about why The Flash was amazing for this season and then went to crap. But whatever, that's another point. And if you like uh, Whiteboard, his name is Dan. Uh, he's on the Comics Experiment. And you can find him at Dan uh, T. Streamer on Twitter and on Twitch. Go away, whiteboard. <laughs> See you guys next time. Why don't you give a thumbs up? What, a, what am I? G.I. Joe!